Perspectives Unfolded Pros and Cons Analysis and Debates Hello, dear learners. Today, we are going to dive deep into an interesting and vital topic, considering different perspectives when identifying pros and cons. This skill is particularly crucial when participating in debates or discussions, and it also enhances your critical thinking and analysis abilities. By the end of this video, you'll have learned how to evaluate and understand various points of view, aiding you in creating balanced arguments and making informed decisions. We all have unique life experiences that shape our view of the world. These experiences lead us to have different perspectives. Understanding these various perspectives is essential in a debate because it allows us to see an issue from multiple angles. The more perspectives we consider, the more comprehensive our understanding of the topic becomes. It is also a key part of identifying pros and cons. The more angles we consider, the more complete our list of pros and cons will be. Now, let's talk about how to identify pros and cons from different perspectives. Firstly, it's important to put yourself in someone else's shoes. What might be a pro or advantage for you might be a con or disadvantage for someone else. For example, let's consider a debate on remote learning. A student with reliable internet might see the flexibility of remote learning as a pro, while a student without reliable internet may see this as a con due to lack of accessibility. Furthermore, you must consider social, political, economic, environmental, and cultural perspectives. Each of these perspectives might have different pros and cons. Taking our example of remote learning from an economic perspective, a pro might be the reduction of costs associated with physical infrastructure. However, from a social perspective, a con might be the reduced social interaction among students. A great way to practice considering different perspectives is to engage in perspective-taking activities. This could be role-playing exercises where you represent a point of view different from your own. Another way could be writing out pros and cons from a variety of perspectives on a given topic. Remember, practice is key. The more you practice, the better you'll become at understanding different perspectives and identifying the pros and cons that come with them. In conclusion, considering different perspectives when identifying pros and cons broadens your understanding of the topic and leads to more balanced and informed discussions or debates. Embrace the complexity of different perspectives, they provide a richer, more nuanced understanding of the world. And remember, the key is to practice, practice, practice. We hope you found this video useful and enlightening. Don't forget to practice what you've learned today, and we'll see you in the next video. Happy learning!